now that you're shooting, let's talk about the length of the shot. How long should your shot be? I think people always misestimate length of shot. So let me give you a challenge. Turn on the television or go to YouTube and watch a commercial and watch each shot. That is from the beginning to the end of one piece. That is before a cut, after a cut and before a cut. How long is that shot? That's what's called a shot. How long is it? I think sometimes we watch so many shots go by we think they're just one piece when actually they're tens or 20 different pieces. How long should your shot be? This is a really key question that's hard to answer and most of us when we're shooting our video like to make a long shot. Like right now, I'm making a long shot or you record someone who gives a lecture. Well they could be a one hour shot. But when you watch the video, isn't that getting really boring? So a way to keep a video interesting is by having short shots. And when I say short, I really mean short. Remember, my students' projects were working on 60 seconds or 30 seconds for the whole video. So if they're gonna tell a story, each shot has to be, what, 20 seconds? That's pretty long. 10 seconds, it's getting better. Five seconds, that's even better. That should be our target. So watch a video on YouTube that's a commercial or watch a film preview, the coming soon films, right? And watch how many shots are there in just 30 seconds or in 10 seconds or do this, count the shots. Watch, the, watch it and say one, two, oh, they changed already. One, oh, they changed already. One, oh, they changed already. Probably every second or every two seconds, they have a new shot. It really keeps it interesting, keeps it exciting, and stops people from really getting bored. So when you're shooting your video, that is before you even edit it, try to keep the shots short. This will also help your editing because you won't have these long shots that you need to cut into very small pieces, which can be very tedious and hard. It also makes your file size big. By having a short shot, it keeps your file size short and makes your editing easier. So when you're shooting, the way you do that is you say action and the person does the action and you say cut very quickly. You should be following your shot schedule, your shot list. You should be following your um, storyboards and the storyboards will give you an idea. Follow those and don't let the shot be too long. So. I want to follow my own advice and I don't want to let this shot be too long. So let's move on to the hardware table. Okay, here we are at the hardware table and what hardware are we going to look at today? Well, I don't have any hardware to show you this time, but I want to show you something about hardware and that is be careful to not break your hardware. When I was studying filmmaking for the very first time, way back in 1980 something, 1983, I remember we borrowed our cameras, we borrowed the lights from the school art department, we went out to have a shoot. We even had a cameraman, a sound man. I was director and the cameraman, he was already with the camera and he tripped. He tripped over a wire, fell down, and almost broke a very expensive camera. That's easy to happen. He was a very responsible person, but stuff happens, remember? You can't really control it. So what's my advice on this? My advice is maybe you should use equipment that's not expensive. <laughs> That way, if it's broken, eh, it's not a big deal. You don't lose a lot, right? If you have expensive equipment, the chance that something happens is always there. Your equipment could be dropped, it could get wet, it could just be broken because it's getting old, but now it seems like it's your fault. It could be stolen, that's very common in some places. So my input is, Try not to get expensive equipment. And all the things I've showed you on the table, all the stuff I've showed you is low cost. 
not expensive. That's been my goal. That way, if something gets broken or lost, it's just not a big deal. Now we're gonna talk more about how to actually use some of your equipment to be a little bit safer, some safety tips, but that's the big one. Make the most out of less. Do something great with low cost. Make the most with less. Good luck.